Today I'm going to make a skirt for my doll and first of all I made this half circle and it's 11 centimeters from the little circle to the bigger circle. Then I fold up the bottom edge and I'm taking a lace that I like and I'm going to place that on the edge around here and I'm going to pin it all down. And I sew all the way across with the back stitch. Then I cut away the excess and I'm gluing the seam down. While the glue is drying, I'm going to take a new piece of fabric. This is around 30 centimeter times nine. And I again fold up the bottom of this on the back side and place the ribbon. And I pin it all down. Remember to cut the excess fabric off and glue it all down and then this part is ready too. I'm just taking some thread on a needle and I am zigzagging it through the uh, top of the fabric to get this rippled effect. Then I find the middle point on each piece and I mark it with a needle and I'm going to place these two uh, points together. I'm placing the long strip on front of the half circle and I'm doing it so that I have the good side out. So you can see here it's good side and good side. And then I'm just uh, pulling the thread to make sure it's all uh, crumbling up or what you call that and I pin it down so it sits exactly like I want it
Then I have this piece of, of fabric that is four centimeter wide and as wide as the opening on top here. And I'm just going to pin that on top of everything on the nice side, on the good side of the fabric, just like you see me do here. After I sewed a back stitch all the way around, I am just going to rip off these excess threads that I used to pull the fabric together with. I'm just kind of ripping them off. Then I'm taking the small pieces here and placing them good side to good side. And you're going to sew a back stitch from this point I show you here and down to the bottom of the dress. I'm doing the same with the half circle part of the dress, placing this uh, needle in here and at the bottom of it and then I'm going to sew from the needle and down. I did my sewing on both parts of the dress here and I'm just folding up the big one and taking this little part and I'm going to glue down these flaps of uh, excess uh, fabric and for that I'm just using a piece of uh, paper to put in there so it's not gonna glue to itself. Glue it all the way up to the seam, just like I'm doing here, and I'm doing it on uh, both sides here, and I'm doing the exact same thing on the other layer. Then I cut off the excess fabric as you see me do here from both uh, ends of this piece of fabric. And I'm going to glue the ends of it in so it doesn't fray. And I do that on both uh, ends that we have. Then I put glue all over this little top and I am going to fold it half and I'm folding it backwards away from the good side so this is on the back side of the dress. 
leave it to dry for a good amount of time so you're sure it's all dry before you continue. Then I fold it backwards one more time. And I'm using this over and under stitch or what it's called to sew the edge on the back side of the fabric so you won't see it on the front of it and it leaves a tunnel for the elastic band. Do this all the way across from one end to the other. And I also made a back stitch seam all the way down on both sides of the first stitch like I showed here and I'm doing that on both layers. So now we ended with this little dress. I'm going to take my elastic band and use a safety needle to get it through the tunnel we made for it. Then I put it on my doll and I make a knot on the elastic band so that it fits her waist. Don't make it too tight, you want to get it off and on her very easy. Mine is actually a little too tight. Cut off the rest elastic band, don't cut it all the way down, just enough so you can hide the knot in the tunnel. And there you have a very cute little skirt that can fit to the top we made last week. So I'm just going to give her on both things. I hope you liked this video and that you will give it a try. That's all I have for you today. Please give it a like if you did like it. It means a lot to me. And thank you for watching.